Hello, and welcome to Georgian College, to the Dental Assisting Program, and of course to Biology 1014, The Essential Body, online. Starting post-secondary studies can be an exciting time, but it can also be a wee bit anxiety-provoking for some. I know it was for me. My name is Michelle Barron, and I will be your professor for this course. I'm looking forward to that. I hope that this short video will help you to feel more comfortable by knowing a wee bit about me and what you can expect in this course and how I approach my teaching. You need to know two important things straight away. I'm not here to trick you or mess around with what I like to call the currency of your career, and that would be your grades. I do, however, have very high standards, as should anyone involved in the medical field, including you. This online course has been structured to afford you the very best opportunity to capitalize on your career currency, your grades, and help you to prepare yourself for a rewarding and safe practice in the healthcare field. I care, care very much about what you take away with you from our time together this term, and I am here to support your learning of the anatomy and physiology concepts that will be critical to your academic and professional success. But even more important to your success is your discipline and your commitment to the academic rigors of the career you have chosen and the professionalism that you will be expected to practice and demonstrate every day, starting today. It's always been my view that my students are, my, are professionals in training. You are now my colleague, and as such, I will expect nothing less from you than you should expect from me. I look forward to a mutually rewarding term with you and hope that you will enjoy learning all you can about the essential body. Let's get started. Let's take a few minutes to take care of some important housekeeping pieces that relate directly to your success in the course. We will be going through the course syllabus together in this short video and I will highlight some of the main areas leaving you to view the document in full at your earliest convenience. The syllabus is basically the course contract between you, the student, and the college, including the course professor. The course syllabus in any course is basically your roadmap for the term. So it's a pretty important document, and I strongly encourage you to read it carefully and keep it handy for your ready reference throughout the term. You will be held responsible for being familiar with all of its contents. If you don't have a copy of your syllabus in front of you right now, pause the video here for a minute. I'll wait right here while you grab a copy and a coffee or a cup of tea if you like, so you can follow along. You might want to make some notes right on the syllabus itself or highlight areas. Okay, all set. You'll note at the bottom of the cover page of the syllabus a statement reading, students are expected to keep a copy of the course outline for their records. Replacement copies will not be provided. And that might not seem like a big deal to you right now, but it will be an invaluable document to you should you find yourself in the position of being able to use the course as a transfer credit course in the future. It will be one of the documents you will be asked to provide if you wish to request an exemption, say, or qualify for a transfer credit in another program, either here at Georgian or at another academic institution. Scrolling down to the next page, we come to the course description, course content, and learning outcomes. These are found in the official Georgian College course outline for Biology 1014. This will be posted in our Blackboard shell under course information. I will leave that for you to read for yourself. And if you have any questions after reading it through, just send me an email and I will be happy to help you out. We will cover how to contact me in a wee bit. Looking at the course information at a glance box, you will see that this table lays out the course particulars. The course name, code, and course registration number, or CRN, that's that five-digit number you used when you registered for the course. This course will be delivered totally online, and the course resources will be available in the weekly folders on Blackboard. If you are uncertain as to how to use Blackboard, don't worry. There are helpful tip sheets that have been prepared for students, and I will post this link for you on Blackboard itself, as well as email the link to you directly on your Georgian student email to help you get set up and going. It's critical for you to get comfortable with using Blackboard straight off because our online course will be delivered through this medium. You can see the required textbook is the sixth edition of the Herlihy text entitled The Human Body in Health and Illness. 
We will be relying heavily on both this text and its companion study guide. So if you don't have a copy yet, get one immediately because you will have regular assigned readings starting today. These readings must be completed before each weekly cycle begins. More on that later. The next piece is the course evaluation at a glance table. Students are always keen to know how they'll be evaluated in a course, understandably so. This table highlights the main points for you. Tests will make up 55% of your course grade, assignments will be worth 20%, and a final exam worth 25. As noted in the table, all of these evaluation pieces will follow the Georgian College academic regulations that we're all bound by. The links are provided here for you to refer to. And again, I strongly urge you to do that straight away so you don't run into any unpleasant surprises. But briefly, tests and exams must be written on the day noted in the syllabus. If you absolutely must miss a test, you need to notify your professor before the date of that test or exam or any other due date. And verifiable supporting documentation, like a doctor's note, must be submitted to the course professor before a makeup test can be arranged, if one can be arranged. Note that if you do not meet the requirements spelled out in the academic regulations, you will not be allowed to make up a missed test, exam, or a late submission of an assignment. The mark for that piece will just be recorded as a zero. Pretty serious stuff. So serious, in fact, that we'll touch on that again later. I've arranged many evaluation opportunities for you over the term to allow you to demonstrate what you've learned, as you will see when we look at the course timetable towards the end of this video. Scrolling down now to the next page, let's take a look at the contact information. It's important for you to know that I occupy a virtual office and I'm not physically on campus. However, I'm always just an email away. Always. Email is my only means of communication. I cannot receive or reply to phone messages. Communication is vital to your success in the course, so it is your responsibility to check your email and our Blackboard shell every day to make sure that our communication is clear, consistent, and uninterrupted. It is our course lifeline, so please never feel shy to contact me. There are no dumb questions, and I am here to help. When emailing me, be sure to follow the email etiquette laid out here. Consider this to be professional training for your future career, as this will be an expectation of any future employers that you may have. This is actually so important that I will be posting a recap of professional email and communication practices in Blackboard sometime this week or next, outlining how and why this is important to you as you begin your professional journey. If you email me and have not received a response within 24 to 48 hours maximum, that would suggest that I did not receive your email. Perhaps a technical glitch? Or maybe the email etiquette was not followed? Be sure to only email via your Georgian student email. Emails sent from personal email accounts will not be opened. So you can see that it's imperative that you make sure that your student email address is accurate working and connected to Blackboard straight away. Scrolling to the next page, we come to course delivery. As you already know, this course is delivered entirely online and we will be using Blackboard as our classroom. Online does not mean on your own. In post-secondary education, students are expected to be responsible for their own learning in every course, and this course is no exception. Being responsible for your own learning does not mean that you're teaching yourself, though. Ultimately, we all have to do our own learning, otherwise that learning isn't ours to keep, is it? The course is set up to enable you to be successful. It is up to you to make that all work for you. Tools and resources. These are not suggestions, they are requirements. I'll run through them very briefly, and you should tick them off as you have um, met those expectations. Set up a binder specifically dedicated to Biology 1014. Very important for organization. The text and the study guide, of course. The course is built around the required text and companion study guide. You'll have Workly Week in that study guide. 
and other complimentary resources will be provided on Blackboard as well. And it's an online course, so a working computer and reliable internet and a black backup plan in case uh, in place in case you experience tech issues or some other disruption of your online access. This can and does happen. The library has many uh, computers available for students' use, and it's free. Uh, you require a Georgian College Blackboard account and a Georgian student email, as we've said, before the end of this week at the very latest, so you don't fall behind. The various related resources posted um, occasionally on Blackboard are not accidental. They're there for a reason, and you need to use these resources. There is a free Blackboard app that is downloadable. You do require that um, so that my emails will come directly to you. A minimum of, of six to eight hours per week of concentrated, that's focused work and study of the materials. Successful study in post-secondary education assumes a minimum of one hour of this dedicated work outside of class for every hour in class, or the equivalent of that. This would be a three-hour course if it were held live in class, so that works out to a minimum of six hours per week. Some students may require more time. And finally, you and me. Scrolling down to the next page, you'll see course expectations for my um, delivery of the Biology 1014 course. I mentioned earlier that I have very high professional standards. Below are a few of my expectations of you. Motivation and initiative. Basically, why are you here? You need to want this career enough to work to earn it. Keep your goal in mind every day. Organization and time management are of utmost importance. You must set up a plan now. Not next week, but now. Your first assignment, which will be due Sunday, January 13th, will prompt you to get started on that. Look for the particulars on that assignment on Blackboard under Assignments. This is not optional and is necessary to set up your term. Preparation is just simply you doing your part. And that would include, but not be limited to, completing assigned readings on time making your study notes, and doing this before you access any available video lectures. Why is that? Well, the lectures are highlights only, and will assume that you have indeed done your part by prepping ahead of time. Also not optional. Engagement. You can read through this bit on your own. Essentially, it's just regular commitment and presence in the course. That is required and expected. Don't let more than two days go by without connecting with your course material, even if it's only for 15 minutes or half an hour. Failure to engage regularly in this way will most certainly put you at risk very quickly. And finally, but every bit as important, is your professionalism and your persistence. I will be expecting your best effort, and you can expect mine. We're a team, and that is just how it's supposed to work. Let's scroll down now to a little more on testing and evaluation. Georgian College, like all colleges, has an established set of policies and procedures that all of us are required to adhere to. These policies, um, those policies, sorry, related to testing and evaluation are the academic regulations, sections 10 and section 7.2.1. These were touched on briefly earlier. Students are also held accountable to these regulations. Follow the links below and familiarize yourself with the regulations, such as requests for adjustments to prescribed examination or test dates must be made before the examination or test dates. The passing grade for all courses is 50%, or a letter grade of P for pass or S for satisfactory, if appropriate, unless otherwise noted. The passing weighted average for promotion through each semester of a program is 60% and is a requirement to graduate. And scrolling down to the next page, 
we come to academic rights and responsibilities. I'm not going to read these out. You can read them for yourself. And again, follow the links below so that you are aware of your rights and your responsibilities as a Georgian College student. If you require any clarification or have any questions, I'm just an email away. Scrolling down to the next page, we come to Student Services and Support. Georgian has numerous services for students. All of these services are confidential, free, and available to all students. If you need help, whether that is um, personal help, some sort of counseling, or um, learning studies help, strategies for success, please refer to the student services contact info that I will post on Blackboard. Don't wait. Student and personal life can be complicated and challenging at times for all of us. And there are professionals here to help you out with that. Scrolling down brings us now to the syllabus overview. It's in that um, table. It's entitled Biology 1014, Barren Winter 2019 Timetable. The syllabus available on Blackboard is to either print or download as well. It is your responsibility to be familiar with its contents. I have tried to make it clear, concise, and straightforward. If you have carefully read everything and still have questions, I'm happy to help. As a professional in training, I do expect you to take the initiative and responsibility to try and work things out for, for yourself first. This is what your future employers will expect. Now, having said that, if you have done everything you can to figure things out on your own and still have doubts, email me. Okay, so as you can see, the syllabus follows a structured format of weekly schedules. Assignment and tests have strict due dates. This is deliberate. It's to help avoid procrastination and to complete sections of the course in a logical weekly format. Frequent assessments are graded throughout the course to allow students to monitor how they're doing in the course, what they're mastering well, and what areas need more focus. This first column indicates the weeks of the term. We're currently in week zero um, with the welcome in the syllabus, etc. The next column briefly notes the core concepts that will be focused on for that week. The third column directs you to the weekly learning folder for each week where you will find further information regarding required readings, study guide work, and any other additional resources related to the core concepts of that week. The weekly folders in Blackboard are set up by week to match the syllabus. And finally, the fourth column highlights due dates, important column, for assignments, tests, and the final exam. The first part of the term you'll see starts off a wee bit slower to allow you to find your feet and get your routine set up. It builds as the term progresses. There is a lot of material to cover in the study of anatomy and physiology. None of it is particularly difficult, but the volume of material can be challenging. I cannot state strongly enough how important it is to keep up with the workload and that is where your organization and time management will make or break your outcome in the course. Start now and don't let up until after the final exam. It will definitely be worth your while. Now scroll down past the next page because that's a continuation of the term, 14 weeks, and you will come to another at a glance table on the last page of this syllabus. It summarizes the due dates and the values, or weights, of all the tests, assignments, and the final exam. I suggest that you keep a copy of your syllabus in your binder, or at least the semester timetable and this at a glance table of important due dates. It's strongly recommended that you keep a record of your results as well so you can track your progress. Tracking your grade. Speaking of grades, your professor does not award a grade. He or she only records your results. So basically, you're rewarding yourself with your own hard work. Well, that's our term in a nutshell. Remember to check Blackboard regularly. I'm looking forward to making your acquaintance and working with you this term. Bye for now.